all right everybody so i'm finally doing a winch upgrade took me a while i got this with auto day sun it was orange i had to get it <laughs> so, no apologies and anyway um i ended up getting a rock hard 4x4 uh, um, winch plate down there and uh just just so you know this black wire down here I, I had put on the whole because I mounted the uh, winch to the bumper and then I installed the whole thing as one but I didn't do this uh, this ground wire I don't know if you can see it kind of hard to see but it goes into directly at the very bottom down there you can't get it so also this little wire over here this little black wire here and that uh, the ground wire that goes directly to the battery it has to be connected down there so before you install the <laughs> the winch you gotta definitely tie this up and I've seen it on other winches even uh, the Harbor Freight ones and stuff and <clears throat> anyway but this was a an affordable winch 300 bucks and um, you could have I could have put it over here but the wires were riding really hard back here and I didn't care for that. I'd rather go for functionality than than aesthetics or whatever. Works for me. But anyway, a lot of I've seen other videos where you have to remove the whole grill and I'm not I'm like, let's do it the easiest way possible. So that's the purpose of this video. So what I did was if, I don't know if you could see down there is the uh, the the, uh, the fad the front no not the front ask that's the sway bar disconnect sorry so I routed the wires directly over there let me uh, get down there and show you all right so so if you can see here <clears throat> you can see daylight through there um there's a sway bar disconnect so i routed it over that and then i got the uh the cables it's kind of kind of hard to see i know maybe that's a little better but i routed above this little uh, ac line or whatever it is and then over the uh the engine what the heck is it the engine uh, cross member right here so I routed it over there and then and over and now I got a little bit of daylight up there okay so what I did was I lowered uh, I lowered the uh, the uh, what you call it the bungee down and I hooked up the, uh, the cables to the bungee let me show you once I get up to the top Oh, that's another thing very very seldom see the youtuber that's where I, I put it put the uh, the fair lead this uh, is an accessory I think it was like nine ten twelve bucks for if I can be legal there's a bunch of youtubers that they don't do the the legal whatever it's on them right they don't care they buy the vehicle, run it for a year, and then they trade them in. I'm sure it seems. I'm a long-term owner. So anyway, I tied my bungee up to this. I tied it up to here. Let's see what I can go fishing with. I don't know if this cable is going to be long enough. We'll see. But uh, anyway, that's what I did. Unless I can get some help, but looks like I'm going to do one at a time. Anyway, that's. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up, and that that'll be that. Alrighty. Talk to you later. All right. So, I, with the bungee, pull the bungee up. Pull the wires, pull them out as far as I can. Black one seems to be too long. 
but uh, the red one's on the shorter side so I'm thinking just run it right there but anyway um, the uh, <clears throat> this, if, what are these fuses I don't know what they are but anyway there's circuit breakers whatever if it gets too hot it'll shut them off off of you can bend them down a little bit Yeah. So anyway, this is what I'm trying to do here. So I took that nut off. Took the nut off over here, so I'm gonna run it right in there. It's kinda like that. And I'll hook up the red wire to that. Something like that. Maybe I'll just try right now. What the heck? Alright, so All right, so that seems to work. Go ahead, let's drop this down. So it seems to work. So I tightened it up, and kind of self-clearance, and uh, hooked up the uh, just one of them. I I didn't have to use the other one. And then uh, this one was the OEM nut. Just back that off. I just gotta zip tie everything because this is a little bit too long. Zip tie everything and and I give it a try. Make this all nice and neat. That's it. Okay, so it comes with two remotes and a, a wired type. And uh, just to show you that it does work, let's go out. All right, so it comes with two remotes and the regular one, you know, the regular wired cable. And it does work, and just to show you real quick. Okay, so I guess you push this button and you push on the out button. Uh-oh, uh it's making a fool out of me. There it goes. Okay. Set this down over here. Got the main one. This one down. So the one we haven't tried. Push the button again. Okay. And they do work. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'll just button it up. Button it up and uh, wrap it up, and that's pretty much the end of this video for the Auto Day Sun winch. They, they, they can't. It's a 13,000 pound winch, but if you read over here, if there's only one layer, it's 13,000. If there's two layers of rope, it's 10,320. If there's three layers, it goes down to 8580 four layers of rope and that's what you're down to 73 70 and that's why people use snatch blocks because the more rope that is extended the uh, less layers on here so you'll have more pulling power not only with the the pulley and leverage setup but also with in the pulley I mean the uh, the winch which this in itself is a one big pulley anyway 
I don't want to get into the mechanics of it, but that's this. That's the uh, yeah, it is the mechanics of it. All right, that's the end of this video. Hope this helps you with uh, your uh, winch and winching, uh, you know, you know, knowledge and how to route the cables. Because every tutorial I've seen, none of them tell you. Oh, remove the whole thing. I, that bugs the heck out of me. Tell me how to do it, and I hope uh, this really helps you knowing how to do it. All right, later.